Hello everybody, my name is Larissa Tormi and you're going to watch a new edition of my music and my story show. I'm introducing you today to Hanna Deling. I met her in Mullingar at FLA Festival and she's all the way from the Nashville and a very, very talented singer and songwriter. I haven't made up my mind yet But it feels like I'm getting close This isn't a situation For dipping toes that are hanging over the edge Of the only world I've ever known And I want to take you all with me and I want to leave it all behind I'll find the truth in that moment When I'm open and I'm closing the door And I am stepping outside Oh no, baby, baby, baby Baby, I know Baby, baby It's time to go well, Some time back I could tell you when I learned some things are better left unsaid I wrote that letter a thousand times in my head So now I'm writing letters to my mother And getting to know her for the first time in my life And it's too bad that I didn't know how to ask or to give it but you taught me the kind of love that's worth a fight Oh no, baby, 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 baby I know Baby, 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 I everybody and you're all very welcome to my music and my story show and I have today very special girl all the way from uh, Tennessee United States of America and her name is Hannah Dillon. Hello. Hi Hannah. Hi. So you are originally you in Tennessee now anyway are you? Yes. And where are you originally from? From Florida. From Florida. Yeah. And uh, so how long are you in Nashville? Uh, eight and a half years. Eight and a half years. Yeah. Right. So what like, how did you make this decision, anyway, just to move? Well, I was, uh, I traveled a lot in my 20s. I'd lived in some places and um, picked up writing songs when I was about 19. And then in 2013, my dad had actually gone to Nashville to explore some of our family history mm -hmm. in music. And he just kept talking to me about all the cool things he was learning and doing. And um, He wasn't a musician himself, though. No, no. but and, like, his grandfather um, had a family band called Johnson and the Range Riders. And um, 
there's a lot of it. Like almost everyone that he grew up with played music, and even Hank Williams was kind of oh, in really? there. Is that your father, father's side? Is yes, it? yeah. Very interesting. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of it. He grew up, you know, when he was a little boy, going to the barn dances and but listening to music. Yes, he loves music, and so he kind of wanted to explore mm -hmm. that. And I was actually living in Australia at the time mm -hmm. and working. And like eventually, I was just like, all right, if I'm going to do this, I need to do it. And, um, and so I moved mm -hmm. December 2013. So uh, tell me, do you do anything else for a living? I'd say you have to in the natural, or do you just do, trying to do music? What, how does it work? Because I never was in there. Curious now. Sure, sure. Um, I'm in the, I'm in a transitional period with that. Like I, so it's. Kind of, maybe this is a little bit of a long story, but right before COVID hit, I was working at a place called High Garden, and a week before COVID hit, a tornado came through Nashville and literally went through the building. Um, and so I had like a couple of remote things over COVID, but um, in 2018, I started a live show uh, called Friends of Mine with one of my dearest friends, Caroline. Oh, and was it on the stage or was it? Yes. Was, was it uh... Yeah, it's a live, live music show. Live music mm -hmm. show. Okay. Yeah, it was a month. It's a monthly show. We do it at this place called Vinyl Tap, which is a record store and a bar. Nice. And um, so that's been going since August 2018. Obviously, COVID happened, and then we picked it up again this year. But it also, in the meantime, turned into a radio show. So that's uh, this. <laughs> Get back again to that. So it's your show and then radio show as well. Yes. Yeah. So a local radio station called Acne mm -hmm. um, reached out and wanted to team up with us to do a show. So the like latter half of 2021, when live shows were still not only start, yeah, only start, kind of only start, feeling yeah. it out. We mm -hmm. were doing more of the radio show, but now we've got the live show going again. So all of that to say, I've been really trying to build that um, as much as I can and figure out, you know, it is, it, the music industry is, especially in Nashville, it's tricky to figure out.
Ways of making Which way? Income. So, so is this show you're doing, so is it the same musicians or you're inviting di different musicians to play? How, what, what's the idea of the show? Yeah, the idea is um, essentially we want to be cross-pollinators, so it's always different musicians. Mm -hmm. um, it's also a residency for me, so I get to play every month. Yeah, good idea. And, yeah. Very good idea. Yeah, it's it was also a way of challenging myself cause, mm. because I didn't really grow up playing and performing so it was I was like I need to figure out how, how to, to be in the stage level yes. okay, yes. okay. and also Caroline so Caroline um, was one of the founders of a local indie label at the time and we knew different people in the music scene mm -hmm. so anytime I would say hey do you know so and so she'd be like no and vice versa so it kind of dawned on me that we should connect to these people because mm -hmm. there are so many talented people that didn't know each other. So we figured if we'd make a space um, for people to meet each other, make connections sometimes. To collaborate? Yeah, of course, and, and why sometimes, not? yeah, Nashville can feel kind of networky, but everyone really has good intentions. So it's like we wanted to make a space that didn't, you could network and collaborate and meet people, but it didn't have the feeling of you're going to a, mm -hmm. you know, some kind of, I don't know. So that's going anyway for, for you, that show is still yeah. likely, yeah? Yes, yes. Okay, we, that's fabulous. And do you do anything business, music business-wise, or do you do official releases, albums, anything that uh, people can listen to, uh, videos, anything like that? Yeah, online? that's another area I'm just starting to do more of. I have a couple of videos on my website, um, which is hannahdillon.com. Um, I've done a couple of... Uh, collaborations with my friend Colin Gundry so we've like covered an Alpha song and that's on there and um, it'll have links to all my music um, I, I released a, raw, a really raw just me and my guitar EP called the Naked Room Demos mm -hmm. and I how think many songs on that? five five songs okay. mm -hmm. and then I just recorded an EP in the last month or two um, I guess I've been here for the last month so the month before being here is a uh, another five song EP that I'm really really excited about um, it was made with two really good friends who also are two of the most talented people I know Ross McReynolds and Will um, Honaker and it was just the three of us in the studio and I'm so psyched about it so that'll be it's released not released yet. not released, not yet. released yet. we're getting it mastered in the next couple of weeks mm -hmm. and then it'll be trickling out the rest of the year Great. Um, so yeah. Five songs again? Five songs again. Yeah. More recent, you know, written mostly over the last year. And who was the after source of the song? We all, you together, you wrote together as well, or not? No, I wrote the song, but the they songs. had a, they like, I came to them basically with my, my guitar yeah, and my and voice. voice yeah. and, and they built it out and we kind of like, I had, you know, of course was like, I want this and I want that, but mostly they were just... Mm -hmm bringing their genius oh, I love to that. it. it I, was... I love when a few good musicians get together and what happens at the end, isn't it? It's always a magic. Yeah, magic. It's like yeah. They, I, I, like, instinctively they knew what I was going for and mm. brought it to life in a way that only they could have, like the pairing of people could have done and that pairing of people could have done. So it was really special. Special. And tell me, you came here to Ireland to, to, to for FLA um, Festival. Why? Like what? Just have a look around. Why did you do something like that? <laughs> Interesting. Uh, I mean, why not? Uh, no. <laughs> I know why it's not, wonderful. but maybe no, there no, is some reasons. <laughs> fair question. Um, my whole trip is uh, based around, honestly, a gut feeling. I was here once before in 2017, and I really just felt like I wanted to be back over here. Um, but specifically with, so there's kind of some personal reasons mm. uh, as well. Obviously COVID, I just was like, I need to go and somewhere. get out somewhere. <laughs> it's travel is like That's how right. I feel alive, you know? I know. Um, and see I, people, see places, is it? Yes, yeah. have adventures, like remind yourself you're capable. Um, so, but as far as music goes, I, so as I was saying earlier, um, I only just started to appreciate the, like really appreciate the music in my family's history. And, um, and I know that so much of American folk music comes from Ireland and Scotland yeah, and Europe yeah. and, and
One day I was walking in your garden Caressing the reflections of your heart And I stood still as the Hollywood Waiting for you speak You said honey I I never meant for you to put me on that pedestal It was lonely up there And I'm sorry I never reached down to pull you up It must have been lonely down there Oh, I never knew The best of you Was waiting for me Waiting for me too I took a deep breath to keep from crying Don't know I tried They were coming whether or not I liked And somehow you always know the words So perfect and so few They pierce like only the truth can do Oh, but there I go again Forgetting you're only a man Who is waiting for me Waiting for me to Waiting for me Waiting for me to Replace your crown with my hands And tassel your hair And let my own down And now I do I We both can see We just needed to set ourselves free One day I was walking in your garden Caressing the reflections of your heart I could see the care there in your tending I could see your heart it is mending Oh, lavender for your mother And her mother too Oh, I wonder someday if something will bloom I wonder someday if something will bloom Oh, I wonder someday If something will bloom for me to
um, essentially wanted to explore it more with having um, explore Ireland and the music having that kind of lens because I don't know much about traditional Irish music and, mm -hmm. and so just hearing it and soaking it up and um, Enrich, enriching, enriching, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it is yeah. enriching. It's, and seeing like kids, like seeing families and kids that are just, it's already, yeah. they grow up with it. Yeah. Gene genetics. Genetics, uh, I don't know will I put it in the show or not, but because I'm professional, like the classically trained musician. Oh. And when I came here, I was teaching at uh, in the college, um, have a, was a choir conductor. And the difference was so different between my country and this country, because every child, could sing and play nearly every child. I never saw that. Yeah, it's remarkable. Because in our country we have music school and there is kind of gifted children in there. They kind kind of find the, then you have maybe five um, harmony choir and then stuff. In normal school it's only melody because people children can't mm. play and sing anything anymore. In Ireland ordinary school and uh, I want to. Uh, use it but ordinary school anyway um, I just said can you sing harmony yes ma'am and I said mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they all started to sing I was obviously I said wow music in Ireland is huge and everybody loves it too yes which is a, it's a pleasure to sing in here yes because people do appreciate music so much in Ireland every yeah. every every single and the heart of it too. yeah it's like very it's in much the blood so. it's in the culture and it's just yeah and how many songs do you have uh, written so far any idea goodness uh, I don't know an exact number but I would say well when I first started writing songs when I was 19 um, I was on fire for like three weeks over 20 songs oh with um, a friend of mine it's kind of a fun story but essentially my uh, I met my old piano teacher's son. She was like, you guys need to meet. And we got together and I'd come in with a melody and some words and he'd just play, pick out the guitar. It was before I started playing guitar. And, um, and so that was an era. I think now in the last few years, I probably have another like 20, 25. of a hawk solitary creatures in communion it's that hard won reunion it's the sun and the moon and their motions and the stars it's the look in your eyes in the moment and the moment after Mm -hmm. 
how often would you write? Would you write like daily, or it doesn't matter? You don't like really count whenever it comes to you. Then is it? I used to be like that, um, kind of when the spirit moved. Now I'm making it more of a daily practice. Do you? Yeah. More regular. Good yeah. idea. Yeah. Because I think it was um, good for me to get over the nerves of that of, or being like I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to write something today so I actually a few months ago I, I made a little challenge for myself which was to learn a cover song and write a song every day oh now could I could I like play those songs for you no or like you know it was more just the exercise of getting getting them into my hands getting over the like sitting down in the chair and not mm -hmm. being afraid of that like writer's block mm -hmm. Okay, Hannah, lovely talking to you. And yeah. so, if people want to follow you or to know about you, where to go, tell us at the end time. Yeah, um, so my website will have all the info you might need, which is Hannah Dillon. That's spelled H-A-N-N-A-H-D-E-L-Y-N-N.com. Uh, -N -N -N, um, the same Hannah Dillon on Instagram. Facebook, all the and streaming platforms as streaming well. Yeah. Platforms, okay. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time, Hannah. Thanks for having me. And I, I hope I hope I'll sing with you and write a few songs with you. Maybe yeah, that'd be great. Be great. I would love that. Oh, it's been such a pleasure. I appreciate Thank you just bringing me on. <laughs>